Ever wanted to make a still photo come to life with talking characters? These are called talking photos. Join me here on at Tech Hustle and I'll show you how to create them effortlessly using Adobe Express. Let's go. All right, so I am here using Adobe Express. Now, in a previous video that I created, I showed you how you can create your own animated characters using a feature of Adobe Express called Animate with Audio. So if you haven't seen that, I'd recommend checking it out. But if you have, well, welcome back. And I'm gonna show you a brand new feature and that's to create a talking photo video. So I'm going to search for Animate with Audio. And now it's going to automatically open up. Now in the last video, I showed you how you can create characters and create the appearance of animation. Well, in this one, what I'm going to do is take a still photo and create kind of like a parody talking head video. And you can do this by selecting category. And first, what we have to do is choose this option, mouth only. Now, it helps to know what photo that you want to animate or what photo that you want to create this talking mouth in front of because you can pick the shape at the bottom that best matches. So, for instance, here's an example of red lips or you have more of a regular kind of closed mouth. So, after you choose the style that you want for the mouth, the next thing we're going to do is record. Now, what I like to do is to choose this option, enhance speech, which will amplify and give your audio to have more clarity. This is great if you're using like the laptop, uh, the microphone on your laptop to record. It will really boost that audio, make it sound pretty good. All right, so what I'm going to do now is to select the option that says record. This will count me down once I select allow. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching EdTech Hustle. Okay, and now that's done, and in a few moments, my audio should be ready to preview. All right, it looks like we're good. The first thing I'm going to do is to play this. Let's see how this looks. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching EdTech Hustle. Okay, not bad. Now, as you can see right over here, it says that you can't just download the mouth on its own, which is fine. We are going to open this in the editor because we want to take that photo or the person. We want to put this mouth over their mouth to, again, give the appearance that they are talking. So in this case, the first thing I'm going to do is maybe just kind of crop this a little. Now you can crop from the right and the left pretty much close to the mouth. What you don't want to do is crop too much below the mouth here because it will open when it talks. Hey everyone. And you don't want to cut off anything on the mouth when we add this over. So the next step is to upload the photo of whoever you want to put this mouth over, whether it's a real person, whether it's yourself or a cartoon character, let's say. And for this one, I'm going to choose Mario. The reason why is I think the character and his mouth lend really well for this particular design. So I'm just going to select copy image. And now I'm going to go back here and I am going to paste that image of Mario. Now this one worked out really well because it already has that transparent background. So from here, what I'm going to do is send this backwards and then I'm going to kind of just match up this mouth over his original mouth. Kind of just get a rough approximation of where it might sit. Let me go ahead and play this. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. You can see it looks just a little big. So I'm just maybe going to move it down just a little. And let's go ahead and play this. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching EdTech. Okay, not bad. So as you can see, uh, it's never going to fool anyone into thinking this is an animated video. But again, if you're going for just that uh, satirical sort of parody or so, you can easily do this. Now from here, I can add my own background. So I can upload my background again, or I can just go into media and I can select photos and I can really choose anything on here. I can search for... Let's just say Hawaii is a good one. And now I can take this background, make that a little bit bigger, send this to back, send this to back, not send it backwards. There we go. We've got Mario right here in Hawaii. Hey everyone, thank you so 
There we go. So the last step, of course, now is going to be to download this. I can select download. And in a few moments, it will download this short video as an MP4 file. Okay, so here is Mario. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching EdTech Hustle. Okay, not bad. So that's one way that you can do that. Now, what happens if you want to take like just a regular photo and you want to put the mouth on someone and then bring that into a program to maybe do a little bit of editing and maybe move that image up and down and do that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to erase Mario. From here, I'm going to upload a photo. Okay, so here is one of Mr. Beast again. I'm going to send this to back just like that, make him a little bit bigger, and then just kind of align the animated mouth over the real mouth, just like that. Maybe rotate it just a bit so it sort of sits over his real mouth. Hey, everyone. Stay All right, not bad. Now, the one thing about this is if I want to bring this into an editing program, I want to kind of remove the background and you can do this inside Adobe Express right over here. It's going to remove the background, but I can't just export this as a transparent file like I could if it was a photo. So what I'm going to have to do from here is just change this background color to a greenish color. If I scroll down and select something like this, okay, this should work. He's not all the way down, but that's okay because I can always just crop this a little bit later. Now from here, I'm going to select download. And now again, this process will start where I'll have that MP4 file. Okay, now from here, you're going to need a video editor and I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on this because there's so many different video editors with different features, but you need a video editor that will allow you to remove the background or to use the chroma key or feature. So once I select that remove a color feature, right down here, I'm just going to use my dropper to remove the background. And now from here, I have Mr. Beast right over here in my video. From here, I can add a animated background or something behind him. Okay, kind of like this. Now I have my video right over here talking animated background behind. If I wanted to, I could use some of the different features to move him around, whether that's a keyframe editor or animation or whatever else. So that's a really quick run through of how you can create a talking photo video using Adobe Express. This is really fun. You can make some really cool videos and I hope you have a lot of fun creating. So if there's any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment area below and I'll do my best to get back to you.